Welcome to the Elevate Everyday Podcast. I've got a very special guest today. So we got one of our most badass clients here on the podcast. We've got Ashley Johnston. Um, she's definitely a leader in our community, and she's a really good example for our female clients. So first and foremost, Ashley, I appreciate you coming on the podcast. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Ashley, to start it off, like, what were you doing before we started working with each other as far as fitness goes? I was mostly doing um, like beach body workouts or, you know, I was lifting, but not really pushing myself in any way, shape or form. Um, I've always been in pretty good shape, but I don't think I've ever been this strong. Yeah. And so, yeah, I just, any, anything that didn't involve me going to a gym really, I, gotcha. I didn't enjoy going to the gym at all. <laughs> okay. Why, why didn't you, because I hear this from a lot of females. Why, why didn't you enjoy going to the gym? Um, for me, it was more, you know, like I, I think it was more a mindset. I wasn't uncomfortable going to the gym. I just didn't want to take the time out of the day to go to the gym. Okay. I was like, well, if I could have dumbbells and stuff at home, then why would I even need to go to the gym? But gotcha. I have a completely different mindset of that now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what, what kind of results have you seen, you know, since then, as far as like now we're, now we've got you in the gym, you know, doing pretty heavy weights and stuff like that, you know, completely kind of shifted that, like you said, with your mindset. So what, what kind of results physically have you seen since the beginning? I've had a complete, um, I would say body recomposition yeah. from when I started to now. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever been this strong, even as a, a college athlete, I don't think I was this strong. So, um, but physically it, when people stop you and say even at the grocery store today, this lady was like, Hey, you go to the gym a lot, don't you? I'm like, yeah, I do. And she was like, cool. You look good. You know, just, <laughs> I don't know. I've just seen a lot of gains in in the right places. And, you know, just, I understand that lifting heavy is really important and it's just really helped me physically and mentally, I would say. So. Yeah. That's, that's kind of leads right into what I was going to ask next is just like, you know, mentally, what what has changed for you, and how has this kind of like helped you along this this process? Like, what's what's kind of transformed? What kind of mindset unlocks have you seen through this process? I I just know I can push harder at any moment, and I think that you know, even I've had multiple injuries, as you know, I've had you know multiple things that would hinder hinder other things, but at the end of the day, just being able to you know, know that I, I am stronger than what I think I am. And I can move past what, uh, it, I can move past where I am right now. You know, yeah. I think people, people limit themselves and it's just helped me realize that really life is pretty limitless when you take on the right approach. So, yeah, I think it's like, kind of like you said, almost, you know, I don't want to say, well, yeah, I'll go ahead and say it. You, you were probably in a comfort zone, right? Like in your own place, like not going to the gym and things like that. And, and, and you've been able to expand that, right? And and I've just found with our clients in their journey, like when you're able to expand that comfort zone with your fitness, you know, it you're like, okay, I can do this everywhere, right? And I, and I yeah. think we've kind of seen that with you. So yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. So what what kind of carryover have you seen in, into maybe other aspects through that? Like other aspects of my life. Yeah. Um, I've been able to to completely change jobs comfortably. Um, I'm back to traveling a whole bunch, um, which has been good and, you know, just kind of, um, more of a mental toughness type thing because yeah. I've, you know, I, I put my body through a lot just at work alone. Right. So, you know, just being able to stay mentally tough, um, but, you know, just really kind of grasping onto the word limitless. Yeah. You know, I just moved. I just uprooted my whole entire life and you know just being comfortable and confident with who I am and what I can accomplish has been you know derived from probably just realizing what I can do in the gym yeah. it's kind of crazy yeah it's kind of you know it's it's funny because tonight our group call with our clients is is about developing mental strength and I think you're definitely a testament to that and, and we've had conversations around this where it's 
sometimes it's not even like you're training your body in a gym. It's like you're training your mind for whatever life's going to throw at you, right? It's like you're training yep. for life, basically. Yep. And, and I feel like that that's kind of what you're describing right now is like, you know, you're pushing yourself so hard you're, and you're just training and kind of callousing your mind for whatever challenges and obstacles that are going to get thrown at you that yep. they, they always inevitably do. Right. So uh, yep. that's awesome. Herb, yeah. what's, what's maybe you got any questions for, for Ashley in the, in the realm of this? Hey, Ash, how you doing, girl? <laughs> I'm good. How are you doing? Good. You're looking great as always. Haven't talked in a while. I know it's been a minute. Yeah. Um, you know, Ash, in my career, I'm the old guy here and I've worked with mostly women. Um, what did, how did you approach the proverbial, I don't want to get big and muscular like guys? Weren't you afraid of getting too big? Um, not really. At one point in my life, yes. And actually, I just had this conversation with one of my coworkers because I was like, man, I, just, you know, I really, I need to go grab some creatine because I'm out. And he's like, oh, you want to get big, big. And I'm like, no, actually, <laughs> what's kind of crazy, the misconception is I can't get any really much bigger than I am right now naturally anyway. Yeah. So, you know, I, I just think that it's such a misconception on lifting heavy and getting big. The female body isn't designed to be big like that. And so, you know, just knowing when you see a woman out there who is really, really big, I can almost guarantee she isn't doing what I'm doing. She's on some kind of supplement that is um, a body, some type of performance enhancement thing. So, so what about the food? You're on a diet. Aren't you hungry all day? Don't you have to go without no. supper? No, I love eating. Yeah. My favorite so thing. So it's a big misconception because 90% yeah. of my girls were like, I can't eat all this food. I have a hard time getting in a lot of, a lot of calories. I think that's probably been once we pass the 1800 mark, my body is full, but you know, with the way that I've been working, just I'm on my feet 13 hours a day and then, you know, getting a workout in at some point and then somewhere in that mist of whatever sleeping, um, food is fuel. I can't not eat but the type of food i'm putting in my body is the reason why i can keep going and eat a little bit more so so what what would you tell a middle-aged aged woman that had a couple kids now has some extra time and she wants to take care of herself would you recommend um weightlifting to get her to her goals 100 percent. i've i don't think i've ever seen the result doing anything else but lifting weights i i think you know, weightlifting, especially for women, you know, I'm 41, about to be 42, but women in the middle age group, I think just things that happen to us, like bone loss and bone density, and just the things that we have to actually start thinking about, not as a 25 year old, but as a 40 something or 50 something, uh, lifting weights is the only thing I would recommend, you know, just because I think that's how you keep all the muscles and everything strong around your bones. Well, then you must be in the gym two, three hours a day. How much time do you actually no. spend in the gym? Today was a 60 minute -er. <laughs> yeah. and I don't usually spend, I don't usually spend that much time. Um, yeah. I'm in the gym from 45 minutes to 60 minutes max. Okay. So you're telling, you're telling me that three days a week, you lifting weights, eating a good nutritional diet, you can actually look like you do, Ash? Yeah. Maybe four days a week. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe four days. I, that, it's my mental sanity, I think, huh? day four. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So in other words, you're, you, you, you would say that you've expanded your comfort zone. You're well outside that bugger. I know people look at you as a leader in the gym. And uh, how do you feel about people coming up to you and asking you things that you were asking a year, year or so ago? Oh, I love it. I, I try to make it a point to, if I see somebody, obviously I haven't been home. I haven't been home since July. So I don't <laughs> see consistent people at this point, Right. but when I was home and I was going to the gym. I would always make it a point to talk to some of the females that were, you know, they're consistently there. They're putting in the work. They're maybe not seeing the results right away because it takes sometimes years to get to where I'm at but I've also put in years of work um you know just to let them know like hey keep going you know you can do way more than what you think you can do and you look great and you know I think 
just supporting the supporting the females that are in there putting in the work maybe not where they're wanting to be but i think it's important well congratulations to you you look great and you earned it uh Thank you, you know, i've seen the videos where they're on the calls um you don't take shortcuts you don't cut corners um like you say three days i'm gonna do four you know so yeah. again congratulations and you know world's world's at your feet right now girl yeah, yeah. Thank you. Here's here's my question. Here's my pressure on you. Thinking about walking on stage one day? Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. I'm okay. right now I'm thinking about getting through uh getting yep. through my next two work shows so that I can at least go home and have some kind of normalcy to my life. Yeah. But isn't it fun doing things you didn't think you could do and it just opens up the next question, the next level, the next level? Because you probably never thought about work stepping on stage working out at home. Now all no. of a sudden you're in control of your body, you're in control of your nutrition. It is pretty interesting to flirt with ideas of taking it to the extreme, right? And being that, being that leader and representative for the female class. So um, again, kudos to you, girl. Thank you. Yeah, and kind of based off of what you just said too, you know, I know you're working a lot of hours right now. Um, what What's your advice for females that are also ambitious in their career, right? What What's your advice, um, you know, as, as a leader and someone that's, that's doing the damn thing, what's your advice to, to the, the females listening and that are busy? So at this point, I don't know what to do without at least my workout. And even if it means that I, I can't, I don't have the time to perform everything in my workout, I make it up when I do have the time. But it it's a lifestyle. So if you're really committed, you know, I'm just as committed to working out as I am to working. So for me, it's just a commitment level, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What what's driving you to kind of keep taking it to the next level? Like what 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 do you think stops you from becoming complacent? What what do you think really drives you and makes you want to keep going? I don't understand how to be complacent. Um <laughs> my brain doesn't operate that way. Very, um, I don't know. Like I, I just don't have, I've always been like this, but I'm, I've got a crazy amount of energy. I would challenge any 25 year old out there with my energy level on, you know, just really putting forth in a positive way and channeling my energy correctly. Um, I think complacency is when you start really feeling defeated in life and, yeah. You know, like I recently, I've just, I've made a lot of really tough decisions, but all of those decisions have been made for me um, to get me motivated to continue doing, you know, great things and to continue working how I like to work. And, you know, that all, that all goes into the gym as well. So, yeah, yeah. 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 And it's, I was thinking about this the other day. I, I think you're a perfect example because I was talking about like having like the identity of being an athlete, right? And I feel like you have that and you've got that mindset. And that's not really like we can try to teach that sort of mindset to our clients. It's but it's kind of tough. And when when we have clients like you that already have it, like we know it's going to be game over. We know you're, we're going to crush goals, we're going to make it happen, right? Cuz you've got that identity, you've got that standard for yourself, right? For so sure. guys, like if if you don't naturally have that, like stack up confidence wins to show yourself that you d can have that identity, right? Like anyone can do this. It, it's, I think Ashley is an example of like, she was a, a college athlete. And so she like has that mindset, right? But it's never too late to adopt that mindset and adopt um, that identity for yourself and, and prove to yourself that you can be that type of person, right? So I, I just, that was something I was thinking about the other day. And I thought you were a perfect example of like, you have that mindset. It's like, you have that standard, you've got those expectations for yourself to, to be like that. Right. But anyone can't, it, it can be a skill that you can work on and develop. So I, I just thought that was a powerful <clears throat> kind of frame of mind. So what are, what are y'all's thoughts on that? Anything to jam on with that concept? I mean, I think understanding like it, people are really hard on themselves, but just, you know, understanding a win is a win and taking it day by day. If you don't, you know, this mindset, I I think I was just born with it. I don't know. I've never not played sports. I've never not worked a job where I have to like earn my money. You know, I don't, I don't get paid anything unless I sell something. So it's, it's yeah. extremely important that 
you know, my mental toughness is all the time. I can't take one day and be like, uh, but I think, you know, celebrating wins when it's a win and also not celebrating false wins and understanding when you're kind of letting yourself down. I think those are two really important things to, to try and do if you, you know, if you're trying to change your mindset. Well, we've been, we've been talking about accountability and goal setting and the whole thing. So I've got a question for you. How much of what you're doing do you think is mental and how much is physical on a percentage? I think it's 90% mental and 10% physical. Thank you. Yeah. If you don't have it dialed in, I don't care what you're physically capable of. Your brain pulls the trigger. Yeah. Your brain gets you out of bed in the morning. The habits you set, your accountability, your support system. Um, the group that we're with, your friends, your family. So yeah, I've tried to tell people when you get started, this is going to be a lot mental. And they're like, okay, whatever. And then yeah. they have these challenges and they have these things because you're trying to fit this into, you know, and I have tremendous respect for you because Kate and I do this for a living. I go to the gym first thing in the morning. I come home, I eat my lunch, get our breakfast, get on the phone, make some calls, talk to clients. It's not too hard for us to get to the gym. You're working yeah. 13 hours on your feet, going to the gym and sticking to a food plan, prepping your food. Girl, you guys have my respect. That's that's tough. I'm actually making my coworkers eat like me too. Oh, I know. I know. I would be scared to be in the same room with you if I wasn't. <laughs> I'd be spot on. I'd be yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Simple as that. Oh, you can call me Ashley. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's funny. No, that's they don't do that. Thank God, because then I'd feel old and have to beat them. But I think, that's what uh, <laughs> yeah, right. I think, um, you know, I'm like, hey, if I meal prep, would you guys just eat it? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. So. <laughs> You know, yeah. just kind of making other people eat healthy as well. So, yeah, I think that's that's something I, I wanted to talk about too. Is just like because I said, you know, you've got that mindset, right? And and so we, I just feel like we all, uh, the three of us, click, right? Like we understand each other, right? But if you don't necessarily like naturally have that mindset, get yourself around people like this that do, right? And when when you're in a community, you're in a group, you're around people that think this way, like it really is going to rub off on you. Like I, I hate saying, it cause it's like the most cliche saying in the world, but like you're the average of the five people that you are around. Right. But it's, it's just the way it is, right. You've got to get yourself around those like-minded people. And it, that's, yep. that's like the, the biggest unlock you can do kind of the biggest cheat code to, to level up your mindset. So really yep. cool. And, and just on a quick side note, uh, Zach, who is one of our clients, um, reached, just texted me and said, hey, tell Ash, I said hi, and can't wait to talk to her again. So, you know, it's great to have a group like we do, where, you know, you yeah. think you're on your own, but then all of a sudden somebody texts you out of the clear, clear boo, somebody WhatsApps you a, a meme that picks you up a little bit. So, again, I think the mental part of an individual coming in and relying on the group, the tribe, if you will, I think that's, that's huge. And I think that gets us through those little challenges we run into. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's all, I mean, it's all in your head, <clears throat> whatever you want. I mean, I just uprooted my whole entire life. Yeah. Um, it literally like everything to be around and to be better, you know, just to be a better version of myself and, yeah. um, you know, change is scary and it's expensive. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but the one thing I can say is, you know, it's worth it if it means that you're going to be the best version of you. So 100%. So, so Ashley is an example of a growth mindset versus that fixed mindset we talked about. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Ash. I don't, I don't understand. I wish there are times I should have a fixed mindset, but you couldn't, <laughs> you couldn't pull it off, girl. <laughs> I haven't been able to do it yet. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, with, with this big change, the big move you made and everything and you know, you, you've accomplished so much physically over these last couple of years. And Herb alluded to, you know, it's the thoughts of stepping on stage are, are there, right? But what, what are your goals coming into to 2025? What what can we look forward to Ashley accomplishing here? You know, I'm, I'm going to continue on this fitness journey. Um, I don't know how to, it, it's funny because people are always like, you probably don't need a trainer or this or that and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, I know what I'm doing, but at the same time, you know, at this point, I'm way more invested in this community and just, you know, really, I I would like to step up um, once I kind of get my feet underneath me a little bit more um, and back from this long trip from July 29th until I think October 15th is when I get home. Mm -hmm. um, but once I get home, really just refocus on just the discipline that I need 
to continue growing and uh, physically and mentally. And, you know, I think in 2025, it's going to be my best year yet. Awesome. That a girl. That's awesome. Sure. Yep. It could be, it could be me stepping on the stage. I don't know. I gotta, yep. I gotta think about that. <laughs> well, we appreciate you, Ashley. Um, you're definitely a leader in the group and I, you know, I I would love to, to see you just continue to lead everyone in the community. And, and like you said, like, you know, me and Herb even have coaches at this point, right? It just, it helps level you up, help hold you to a certain standard. Right. And, and we appreciate, you know, the fact that you probably could do this on your own, but, <laughs> but Hey, we're, we're going to keep pushing you to, to keep pushing it. Right. And, and kind of yeah. take you to that next level. So I don't want to do it on my own. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it, 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 a lot of people get in, pro get in trouble with doing their own taxes. Right. So yeah. if you need, if you tr truly want something done, right, get a professional, you worry about the stuff you're supposed to worry about. Let that professional worry about what they need to do. You hire the yep. right people. You can learn. Right. Absolutely. But you have to, yeah, you have to realize your time is more valuable doing what you do to produce your income. Get yep. somebody to tell you, go left, go right, eat this, eat that, boom, hit it. I mean, why do you think yep. Cade and I do that? I, I've got clients like yourself, like Cade and I do, and I go get to get ready for a show. That's going to take six hours a day. I'm going to have to have somebody helping me, my coach saying, C -c get over here, get over there, get over here. Right. Yeah. I don't need to think about that shit. Yeah. Right. Yep. So, Everybody, quote unquote, has a coach, whether they're paying them or not. Everybody else has, they're following somebody. Sure. But like Kate said, check the five people you're following, guys. You know, because if I get somebody that comes in and they're 60 pounds overweight and they're, they haven't done anything and they're, they're sick, I guarantee you I can describe your three best friends. You're looking at them in the mirror, bro. Mm -hmm. okay. So choose wisely. But when you decide to do this thing, I mean, it's, it's contagious, Ash. I mean, like she said, she was in the doing a home gym. Now she rocks the real, the big gyms with, you know, going in there and people are asking her for help. So again, I think a mental, uh, you know, really working on the mental part is more important than anything right now. Yep. Yeah. And my, my coach specifically, I'll just speak from my own experience. Like he's, he's stepping on the Olympia stage this year. And it's just like, when you, when you're surrounding yourself with those types of people that are just like on another level and their, their mindset is even like, like their comfort zone is a lot more expanded than yours. It, it just, you naturally start to expand yours. Cause you're like, Hey, I know this person. Like I'm seeing them do that. Like what's, I can do it too. Right. So hundred percent. And, and yeah, it's, it's a whole nother thing whenever you're like, I know for me with my coach, like I've got to say every single week what I've done. Right. And, and sometimes just saying that to another person and, and saying it to yourself at the same time, it just holds you to that accountability and you know, kind of like, you know, where you're at. <laughs> and so it's, it's just, it's just a whole nother level of that accountability, but, but we appreciate you, Ashley. Um, we're excited for 2025 with you. Um, appreciate your leadership in the group. You're a great example. So other than that, guys, you know, follow Ashley on social media and, and, you know, be a part of a community and, and be around people like Ashley that are crushing it and leveling up their mindset on a daily basis. Okay. So other than that, guys, let us know if you got any questions. Leave it in the comments. We'll see you in the next video and elevate every damn day. Peace. Peace. Thanks, guys. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.